Hello and welcome back. We're gonna be looking at some heavy Russian steel today. First game's in my IS here, and I'm just trucking up to the middle. All by my lonesome. No one else wants to come up with here. All by myself. Everyone can't decide where they're going. So this is mostly a tier 8 match. Half of them are tier 8s. few tier 7s and then we got a couple tier 6 tanks. They actually have more tier 6 tanks than we do. So I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. But I do have a T28 prototype backing me up. And on the other flank I have some pretty heavy guns over there. So. Not looking too bad over on the other flank either. Good spread out. It's a good spread. It's not like where you get some teams where they're all lemming to the to the one side and completely ignore the other side. So that's a plus. So I'm just taking it easy here. We don't seem to have a scout on our team. <laughs> the closest thing to a scout is our Hellcat, and our Hellcat is hiding in the back. Which probably ain't going to do him too good because he's not going to be able to shoot at and penetrate much of the stuff on their team from the front. So, I'm speed up a little bit. Just going to wait. Wait for some love to happen. So, spot of EKD up on the hill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That felt good. Felt good to bring some pain to this guy. Spot Mr. Indian Panzer. And I hit him, but it bounced. Indian Panzers must have really tough armor. It looks like he's turning around and running away. <laughs> I hit him again. Didn't do any damage. Come on! So I have shots at those guys, but they don't want to come out and play. Looks like we've taken the hill. It's good! Look over there. Don't get shots at him because he just dies. Not show no respect. And the SU dies. I'm starting to wonder whether they're going to be able to kill anything. Everyone's just dying. Alright, so I'm going to pop over the hill here and see if I can shoot at this fella. Oh yeah, that, that, uh, that was a good shot. <laughs> it's a really good shot and I got uh, hit by the Churchill gun carrier that's somewhere in the back there. He's probably back in like K1. And the odds of me penetrating this guy, fairly poor. Let's see, he's got a very pikey face. Not British pikey, but Russian pikey. So this guy's like, he's decided that I'm the most dangerous tank on our team. And I think that was an arty <laughs> taking a shot at me there. So the 110, uh, I'm not going to worry about him. I got decent enough gun depression to shoot at this dude, because he shot me earlier, so I need to get retribution. And I got shot by someone over there, the Tiger or the 110. But again, the turret saves me. Usually this turret fails me, but it looks like today it's going to do well. So I'm just letting our team spot these fellas. And I spot Mr. Tiger from really far away. And eh, it got close. That wasn't the worst shot in the world that I could have taken. And it 
Looks like I got a side shot on this fella, but... Cloaking device engaged. Cloaking device engaged. Oh, Ferdinand. Fearsome tank. Gives me too much of the side of his tank. <laughs> Looks like I got side shots on this guy now, too. So this is really good situation for my tank. Because I don't have enough penetration to penetrate anything from the front to almost here. Unless I shoot a weak spot. Uh, I missed, but I can take that with this tank because it's not supposed to be very good from far away. Come on. Come on, baby. Ah! That clipped some part of his turret. And I don't know how they're capping us already, but... I think I skimmed the hairs off the top of the top of that Ferdinand there. I really thought that would go in, but it went really, really high. He's the most dangerous tank on their team, so I'm going to take him out. So he's done, and now it's just Mr. Yag Panther and whoever is, like, trying to cap on our base, which happens to be an IS-3. So it looks like it's going to be me and our IS-3 and our AMX AC-48 that are going to be tasked with taking out this sucker. So I took a blind shot there, but it didn't didn't work out well. So we got to get back. I'm not really super worried because we got enough guys going back that oh, this isn't a big deal, but he takes out the artillery. And now I've loaded an HE round. Here we go! Oh yeah! 87 damage! Reset the cap. Now we're gonna win. And I loaded another HE round. I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> I didn't need to. I just kinda wanted to track this dude. And now I'm at HE, so... Smartly enough. It's time to start shooting at the side of his pike nose it is not yeah that one dropped down enough you can see that arc and the arc helped drop it down on his armor and now there's only one tank left it was funny in this game it looked like we were gonna fucking railroad these guys and uh <laughs> it ended up coming to be 14 to 12 so we only need to kill one more guy and he's driving into the middle. And he's got half health, 475 hit points left. But unfortunately for him, he ran into our IS-3 and our IS. And... Let's see if I can get this. Oh! I mean, the IS-3 shot at pretty much exactly the same time. But he ended up getting the kill. So, I did not... Uh, an atrocious amount of damage. I did like 2100 something damage in this game, but was able to take out the tanks and live till the end and reset the cap, which was what was important because at IS-3, he was decimating our team. And <laughs> I kind of was surprised he was able to get back around in there, but maybe not the best idea for him to try and cap. It probably would have been better for him to try and, and attack us, but he ended up dying and that's what's important. Now, for KV-1 footage. Alright, welcome to the second half of the doubleheader of Russian Steel. I like my Ruski tanks. Best place for the KV-1 is to be in a urban environment. And... Ah! I got pegged from someone up in the hill. It was probably that T-28. It's got an accurate gun. And it likes to penetrate 
likes to penetrate from far away because the T28 up close is a bad idea. So I'm going to be a little bit cautious here because I know that there's a sniper up there and that that ZIS gun can penetrate the side of the KV-1 really easy and I don't want to get get on fired but here I am I'm gonna go for it come on Mr. Matilda and yeah I'm taking side shots from that guy and by the time I get over here the Matilda's dead anyway <laughs> so I'm like screw this crap and now I've got artillery shooting at me and a KV-1 on the hill Fantastic. Luckily I've got a house that doesn't blow up. I have a house that is made from good Russian brick. And that was a really good shot for me into a brick wall. As you can see I, I played World of Tanks for about a week or two. <laughs> from the looks of how I'm playing so far in this game. It will get better. Trust me. Like that. Like bouncing on the front of a, a Churchill's turret. <laughs> How does this happen? Ah. There we go. That felt good. I think that was my first penetrating hit of this entire game. <laughs> I must make myself count here because... We're losing. Two to six. Losing hard. We've lost our best tank, the T-46. Let's see what kind of shots I can get at Mr. KV-1, but he's screwing off. So I'm going to sky Sah. <laughs> I'm going to thigh scrape. Side scrape out from this building here. On Monsieur Churchill. Come on, Churchy. Show me your noggin. I had a little bit of a space between this st stupid fence post. Ah, oh, look at this guy. Thinks he's gonna get in here. Not gonna happen. So shoot him once. And I don't have a shot at him. Yes, I do. I have two shots. So now I'm a little bit worried about the SU-85B behind me, but... I really gotta take care of this Churchill. Which will give me a little bit more room to breathe. Things are getting a little bit tighter here. We're now 5 to 8. And I've been spot detoed. That is Spanish for being spotted. Spot detoed. Where are you? I'm doing my Russian accent. Ha! Here we go! Yeah, baby. Big mistake, Churchill. You should never give me the sight of your tank. Ever! KV-1 will penetrate every time. So now, I know that there's two KV-1s behind us. Or at least that's where they last appeared. But it's time to get out of here. But I want to take a shot at this guy. What a waste of time. <laughs> Using the blazing speed of the KV-1, I have to try and get back to Cap. Because only the T-14 is there to stop the Hetzer. And with the three tanks there, I would have kind of expected them to be able to take out those two tanks. But, no. <laughs> T-14 just bit it. Maybe he got heat derped. By El Hetzor. So we've got a T-28 up there. He can penetrate the, the guy, but he also dies. Probably another... Well, an HE round could penetrate and kill him. And now you got the SU-85B giving himself props. He's giving himself props for getting five kills. Well, usually you have to win to give yourself props. But it's 8 to 11, and I am almost back to the base. And our other KV-1 is going around the opposite way, or maybe he's going for a beverage in the town. 
But I spot the Crusader here and I would like to hurt him. Okay, so he's now reduced down to about half life. He should be totally killable by the Matilda and the other KV-1. But I need to get up to the top and reset the cap. Come on! Come on, stupid Crusader. Stop delaying me with temptations of killing this. Okay. I'm still driving forward, and I'm like, okay. I don't need to drive into this stupid rock anymore, because I'm an idiot. I need to shoot this tank. So, aim at his weak spot. I'm going to wait. Even though I took a shot there, I needed to aim that shot. Now, everyone... Say, say a prayer for the Hetzer, because he has a really bad time here. Watch this. Oh! Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm getting cheered on in the, in the chat here. It's good. Now we're winning. Now we've got four tanks to there, too. We've got the KV-1 in the rears. Give him a shot, and I could die here. I'm going to try and get around. Oh! Ammo racked. Woo! So I got ammo racked, but they didn't explode. So that's good. But I have 16 health now. <laughs> and just as I think, oh man, this game's over. This is good. Those guys will be able to take that guy out. Oh, lo and behold, look! Juicy! Look at that. So... Things don't get much nicer than that. I mean, come on. You finish the game by killing the last two tanks, injuring the Crusader, you get to the top of the mountain, and then it's like Moses brought the artillery of the Ten Commandments to me to give me the, the top gun commandments. And yeah. So, this concludes Friday's Russian Steel Friday and the, the Mega Top Gun there. All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.